Then, uh, without uh, further ado, I'll uh, call this uh, meeting to order. This is a meeting of the Rules Committee of the Representative Town Meeting. And uh, first item uh, on the agenda is to approve the minutes for June 3rd. Can I have a motion? Uh, Patty, second, Joe. Um, comments, questions, corrections? Okay. All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I see none. Abstentions? I see none. Minutes are approved. Um, next is uh, update from the Technology Committee. Lois. Okay, drum roll everybody. We have a new audio and video system in the auditorium. So we've been testing it out today. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Um, thanks to Kate um, Bush for championing this whole thing all the way through. We used the ARPA funding. This has been going on for I think a year and a half. And it's installed, it's there. We today successfully, um, there will be three microphone stands, one for each aisle, which will have a mic, and the mics are movable. In other words, the mic will come off the stand and we can pass it around and use the mics. There are 10 microphones for speakers. They're in the desk, they come out with the gooseneck things. There's one for the podium, and then there's three per, um, three per desk, depending on where you put it. The, the, the microphones are directional, so if somebody needs to look there, they need to make sure their mouth is close to the mic while they, while they, if they're talking to their peers. So it's really important, for our meetings it's fine, because we use the podium, and we use talking to a large group. Um, for some commissions, they may not use, if somebody's presenting to both the audience and there, you have to, Chris, this is in particular for you, you have to watch where the podium is, because I attended a planning zoning planning and zoning uh, meeting, and we didn't know all this. We learned all this in the meeting. And, and so it's important where somebody's standing to make sure that their voice gets picked up. But you can hear it throughout the auditorium. Um, we also, the, the system is Zoom-based, which means that we can have a speaker, remote speaker, and we can put in their video. That's what Mike and I were just working on. And oh, by the way, the committee was Mike, Jim, and me, Jim Cameron and me. So we're the ones that are still testing out some of the details. Um, let's see, what else? So we have the speakers, we have the video. So we have a new screen. The, the um, projector is behind the screen. It uses Zoom as its base. So we can use, we can have a speaker from Hartford. Um, you know, if somebody can't come down or something like that, they can be up on the screen. Uh, their presentation will be on the screen and we can hear their voice through Zoom. Um, and yes, we could do a Zoom hybrid meeting, but no, we're not doing Zoom hybrid meetings. But the technology is in place, should we, hopefully never, but should we have to do that or want to do that. Um, it's, and the other thing we tested significantly today is doing it through TV 79, that they could pick up what was on the screen and what was be all the audio and things like that through this system as opposed to what was there. Um, so that is what we did. Mike, would you? We're still working on some of the Zoom hookups that there are a couple of books that, that we're, we've still got to work out, but for an audio-only meeting, you just press one button and we're all set. It's seamless. And for speakers, that if, if any of us, now the podium speaker will always be on, so that's not going to be an issue for, for you and you and anybody else that's sitting at a table in a different meeting. The little green light on the, on the, um, on the gooseneck means that the power is on, not that the mic is on. And there's a button, um, an on and off button right here that somebody has to press. The red light means it's on. So we'll all figure this out. We'll stumble through it. But I mean, it's amazing to be standing in the back and hearing everything. And it's also amazing to have a handheld mic and walk around the room and, and be able to speak into it. Um, it's all, it's, it's, the batteries are electronically charged. They're all, there's a case up on the, audit, you know, on the platform of the audit the stage that has all the equipment. And there's a control um, panel that's in, that's right on the, the uh, podium that, that we're working off of. So, question, the tables, I mean, the goosenecks are in the tables. The table's always there. Sometimes you walk into that room and- Oh no, they're back on anywhere. No, nothing's gonna get moved and it'll be okay. Well, you can move them in location, um, but they, 
to a limited extent because they have to be, it's all color coded, so everything is hooked in, hooked in automatically, but they're not going anywhere because those, those Thank you. Oh, well, I can't, they'd be crazy, but I shouldn't say never because we're not in charge of that, but the, the microphones don't come out, they're there, they're permanently installed. And, and for those of us, if we're at a table and speaking, you got to get used to where you're at, you know, the relationship between your voice and the, the mic, because it can be too loud or it can be too soft, and that's just a matter of, of uh, process of learning. But we should all be able to hear the meeting and hear your words. And Seth may stuff. not have to get up to the podium every time. You can introduce the speaker, if you choose to, from the table. It's a breakthrough, my gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, right, thanks, to, thanks to Kate no, nice job. And, and all of us, and Jim and, and Mike, because um, in the town, the money came out of ARPA funds, so um, we're really grateful for it. It's for your heart. It wasn't more than a couple of things. Well done. <laughs> oh, and speaking of ARPA, if I can segue, Jack, you had something to no, add I just about wanted, ARPA? Um, there were some changes to. It's ARPA. not on the uh, agenda, yeah. folks, but it's a report, so. Yeah. So there were some changes um, done for ARPA. Um, all the department chairs, based upon um, something John Zagroski said, um, have to give back by October 1st that they actually have committed funds or things are going to be moved. Um, there was some movement out of what was previously approved by ARPA. Um, and they were closed out and moved over to the um, Board of Finance, um, the Reserve Fund for Capital and Non-Recurring Assets, but they were funded by the Capital Reserve in that account, and several of the items that were there were moved into ARPA because we know we can do them, and something else was added because we had split the hose in that. So the question is, do we want to do a, a real brief uh, discussion because, again, we have to the end of December to have fine contracts done, and that's it. So we can say where we are on certain items, some of the movement that took place, some of the actions that uh, Jay-Z has done to move this along. Uh, up to you, the group. Yes, I'd support an update. I was going to say, would it make sense to do it in October versus September after the October 1 deadline? No. No. Before that, <laughs> something comes up. Heads up, up if people don't know it. Like there's something else we can talk about. If anything major come. comes, then yeah. we can we always do it there. But look, I don't care. I don't need to go and speak again. It's part of the I'm speaking up. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I don't care. One way or another, I just wanted to. It's a coordination it. by the Board of Selectmen. It is so, only the Board of Selectmen. So. so their choice. This one, though, had to involve the Board of Finance because they were taking monies out of the Board of Finance's capital contingency. Um, and that can only be done by the Board of Finance. So this was a more coordinated effort to move things around. Okay. Questions, thoughts? Well, question, is there anything that we in the RTM can add to it, or is it more of a report on what the status is? More of a report on how we're not going to get back any to That was my point. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> that was my point. That was my Yeah, that's why Jay-Z wanted to go with October 1st, because it would give a buffer of time for those, as I've depend, you know, attended department head meetings, to make sure that if someone who has earmarked funds and is not there, he has time to pivot and reallocate, as his, Jack is saying. So, we have to have one door open. No, that door's open. Oh, okay. All right. Um, um, it's not close anyway. Oh, but look, I, October first with the deadline, just, so we could pivot to other projects that would be brought up by department heads. It, it may even be a little bit more drastic. If you don't have something locked in by October first, you don't have that money in. Why do you keep looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how Parker Rec is. No, I, I'm just joking. But that's because uh, you're directly across. The um, but that's. You know, there's other projects that we can move forward, um, <clears throat> but you know that's totally at the discretion of the board of select because we gave a total appropriation, and the board of finance, other than the little thing that they just did. So what's the downside of giving the update? There is none. 
time. But there's no, you know, it's just information. Keeping people informed. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the Board of Selectmen have public meetings. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have public meetings. Yeah, they have public meetings. Yeah, they have public meetings. Yeah, they have public meetings. The opportunity for them to update on ARPAs right there. Yeah. But I don't know what we have to yeah, do. Yeah, I don't know that we need it. It's okay. Just, it's just, I just wanted to at least make this group aware because not everybody listens to the Board of Selectmen. Right. Well, I think it's a good well, idea. Never everybody listens to you and Sean. You and, and Seth either, so it depends on what happens. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. I speak enough. I don't need to get up there. So, um, where are we doing it? So, we're, um, doing it. so no, we're leaving it. Or I like it. Um, well, you want to then move like to it. have it. Oh, well, or would you want to add even just a written to, something for the no, packet? No, I don't have time to do uh, another writing. Assignment. Oh, or if I find something from a like board of selectmen meeting, I, I can insert it. If you think people aren't watching, I'm happy to like look around for an insert. Again, you guys call, but. No, no, yeah. <laughs> so just if, uh, if just do it in October. We'll do it in October. And that, that, to me, it doesn't matter one way or another. Just wanted to present it to the rules and have rules make a decision if you wanted it. So it's a question of September or October. I make a motion that we do it in September. I second. Okay. So, so the discussion. Sorry. Sir. Yes, Mark. The motion on the floor is. The motion will be to a do report. It, we do it in September. Right? Just yeah. Up, yeah. So another report, report of the article process. process. Of where we are, what 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 has been taken out of ARPA and moved into capital? What's been taken out? Okay. Just and this was just done within the last month. Okay. So. Okay. Ready to vote? All right. Uh, those in favor? Okay. Those opposed? I don't see any uh, abstentions. I don't see any. Um, you're in, Jack. Who made that second? I'm sorry. I got it done. I'm sorry. Lois. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, I put the town plan of development on here because it comes up every five years and it's uh, increasingly important. Uh, any building or anything, any major changes to use of town assets it gets referred back as a look back at the town plan of development and it's becoming increasingly important as we get more and more pressure building pressure the road and heights just take a look what's going on on main street down the post road uh, and and other locations as well and uh, it seemed to me that the rtm at least the rules committee should have a committee involved in the process, at least monitoring what's going on, putting, having input, because it's a big deal. One of the biggest issues that you have is capacity. I mean, people can start saying, well, you've got to add more and more, let's say, different kinds of housing, whatever. The question is, well, what's the town's capacity to absorb it? And that part of that has to be planned, and that would be in the town plan of development. So that, to me, is a big thing. And yeah, Michael, and then... So, Planning Zoning and Housing was planning on doing that as part of our responsibility. Okay. We discussed it. Yeah, that's all right, good. And I was just We can add, actually make it official, Mike, you know? <laughs> all right, Susan? I was just going to add, I watched a little bit of the Planning and Zoning meeting the other day, and they specifically, Steve Albany was talking about who they're going to hire for, as a consultant, and he specifically mentioned capacity as a key part of when they look at things, because it will be done in 2026, because it was done in 2016. So it's every 10 years, 2020. So planning and zoning was on top of that. And I do remember in 2016, they certainly wanted input from as many people as possible, as many groups as possible. As I recall, it's $50,000 in this year's budget yeah. to begin the process. Yeah. yeah, they also had a change because the person who had done it the last time, who's very good, yes. is retiring. So they were going with somebody new. But yes, I, I believe that, I know Amy's following it, and they are gonna have public meetings, and so I think the only thing we really need to do, I mean, we already have a committee to do it, um, is just, um, because well, we're gonna have to approve it. That's the other thing, it's gonna come before right. us, and the group that's gonna be reporting on it is PZ and H. 
So I, I would take a motion to assign uh, planning, zoning, and housing to get involved in the town plan of development, getting input and and reporting back. Uh, can I get a motion to do that? Thank you, yeah. Patty. Second from Peter. Uh, further discussion? All in favor? Okay. Opposed? I don't see any. Abstentions? I see none. Motion passes. Um, the next item is a procedure in the event the town budget is not approved by the RTM. Um, we've got to start on that now to get to the point where we've got it figured out by the time the next budget rolls around. So uh, can I give an update on um, that? Please, Jack, would you... Uh, okay, so um, at the... Um, I had a conversation with uh, John about this because essentially what the plan was is to meet with Kate, Jen, and myself and figure out because there's three areas that the RTM can deny, and that is the capital plan, the Board of Ed, or the Board of Selectmen. Now, I don't understand why we would do two of the three, but um, it's a possibility. There is no state law that governs that, so um, the thought was is that three of us get together, then we'll bring it over to um, the Board of Selectmen and um, the Board of Finance, say this is what we're thinking of, blah, 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 because in any one of these, it's really the RTM going back to the Board of Finance, not to the individual boards, because when we vote on the budget, we're voting on the Board of Finance's budget. So, um, but I was requested um, to put it on hold um, because of the announcement with Kate, and so everybody's scurrying around taking care of that. So, you know, we have a rough idea of what's going on. We'll have something in place for the next budget, but I still intend that when everything, when the dust has settled a little bit, um, that I can ask what they think it's going to be and what it should be. Because most of us who are operating, at least on the Board of Ed, that it goes back to the prior year budget. Well, that's a wives tale, not reality. So um, we just got to correct it. But I had a brief conversation with Jen about it. And Jen agrees that when we do this, and I spoke to Frank about this as well, uh, Frank will be coming a little later, um, that we're going to make it whatever is decided will be made into an ordinance because we don't want guidelines no because way. guidelines can be discussed and Jen believes that it should be an ordinance. Now, because this is dealing with budget, once we figure it out and bring it to the Board of Finance and uh, the Board of Selectmen, we have to bring it back to the Board of Selectmen because any ordinance that deals with the budget according to charter needs to be requested by the Board of Selectmen. So we'd have to go there anyway to have the Board of Selectmen ask the RTM to make it into an ordinance. So that's the research we've done. We have, we've started to do some work, but we pulled back um, to honor John's request. So we've got F and B. Are there any other committees that ought to be involved in this? In TGSNA. In TGSNA. All right, so I would take a motion to assign F and B and TGSNA, and probably F and B primary, TGSNA secondary, uh, to uh, proceed uh, with a development procedure in the event the town budget is not approved by the RTM. I think we did that in May, but we can do it again. Yeah, we can do it again. We, we did it in May, but we can do it again. Yeah. Well, we had a motion. And yeah, yeah. Did it yeah. In May. And approve. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, but, we we do it it again. but we can do it again. We're asking yeah. it to delay it again until. Well, well I guess the motion hasn't changed who's assigned to it. Yeah. And yeah. Basically, this is sitting down with them and saying, where do you think we should be doing this? What do you think should be done? I'm a little more punitive. If you want to turn down capital, we can go back to the way it used to be done long before me, oh. which is you vote on every capital item that's there, which should discourage somebody from voting down. Capital as a whole. Not to make myself, but that's when, that's when we did it out of the newspaper. Oh, yeah. 
can read each one out of the newspaper. Yes, Susan. Susan. Um, all right. Um, if you want, I'll, I'll take a motion. If you think that what we did is we need it's, not, it's not needed, okay, no. fine. Um, Appendix B. Yeah, and we're just and we're deleting that off the agenda. Just yeah. Okay. Well, we're not deleting. No, it. no, I'm not. No, I'm we're still it doing it. it. But we're still yeah. doing it. I just don't need another motion. This was an update. So it was an update. Oh, yeah. okay, got it. Right there. Um, Appendix B. We've um, gotten. Um, Frank's done some work on. Um, oh, here you are. Uh, Frank got the old. Um, the old um, Appendix B and the new Appendix B and that on various pieces of paper. Um, some of a lot of people weren't around and life existed. So we didn't do anything on it, to be honest, other than Frank doing a lot of work. But we'll kick that off again, um, probably in the lab part of September, meeting with individuals um, who made comments and bring it back out. I would suggest I would think that we're probably not going to deal with it in the RTM until January. Well, okay, but let's then let's say January we're going to do it. Yeah, we'll meet with everyone. Because we've been, it, it, it's not that we haven't had a lot to do, but we need to get this done. No, but there were good comments made and they should be incorporated. January's not the budget again, so we're going to lose each other. No, but it's done by January, so it's no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. The budget actually started now, but that's fine. Um, okay, I, I put this uh, item on the transfer property just as a, an item of information. It came up that whether or not we had to, in a sense, re-resolve to transfer the property at home school to the Board of Education from the Board of Selectmen, and uh, we found that we've done it. It was okay. No action required from us. Well, thank you to Krista. For those who were around 10 years ago, when the purchase of this property occurred, there was an amendment to the purchase saying that the building had to come down. And um, I could not recall, and we couldn't recall, whether or not it also was an amendment that said that the Board of Ed could not receive the property. As it was, the property stayed with the town, which made the chair of the Board of Ed very happy because they didn't have to pay the 50000 to tear the building down um, out of their budget. And um, But it did say that in the interim, um, Board of Ed, Board of Selectmen, or Board of Commission could use that building until it was demolished. So once we confirmed that it didn't limit anything, um, it, we didn't have anything to do. It was raised because the Board of Selectmen, out of the request for HHR, <coughs> is transferring the property to the Board of Ed for care, maintenance, and control as part of the construction project. So we just wanted to make sure everything was good. And Krista and her team turned it around in about two hours going back and figuring out where it was to give the resolution and the amendment to set it myself. So thank you very You're much welcome. for that. You're welcome. That's great. Okay. Um, next uh, items for the agenda for the RTM. Appoint a member of the RTM to the Blight Commission. Um, what I can do is uh, get a note out to the RTM in general with a description of the Blight Commission in case somebody, they, don't, they haven't seen it. Who was our Blight representative from the RTM up until now? Ed Wascheka. Ed Wascheka. Right. Okay. Ed Wascheka. Okay. He's now yeah. resigned. Park and Rec. He resigned. Yeah. Well, he, he resigned, but he's yeah. on another group, which is why he's not going to be It's not like he left government. Park and Rec. <laughs> Okay, so we'll get some, something out. People can get their names into Crystal. We'll hold a vote on the floor and appoint somebody. Because uh, there are candidates, as I understand, which is great. Sound good. Um, or we're going to putting a new member on as well, so there's a few changes. Yeah. Seth, can we go back for one second? And also, uh, on the, uh, I, I'll make some remarks on Bill Martin. Wait, wait, Seth, can I ask one yes. favor? So can we just go back to the blight for one second? I mean, I'm sorry. 
Um, do we need to be aware of any party affiliation as far as minority representation? We, we no. No. Uh, no. It's assigned by the body. It's only one. It's only one. It's assigned by the body. Right, but once he once they're on the Blight Commission, they don't have, it's not party dependent. Right. The Blight Commission is not subject to minority representation. I think it has to be because it's only one. There's Board of Finance. There's there's Blight. As I as I well, recall, it's it's the body. We only have one person on there, so right. We don't have to. It's not you. No, 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 no. We no, we did this with Great Island. You are. I, I'm not saying it's going to be a problem, but I do think we need someone needs to. All right. Someone uh, needs to figure out. I'll, 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 I would ask the question: Why would we not? I mean, to Susan's point, why would we not? How is it different than the other committee yeah. or commission where it's we do have to worry about minority representation? Right. I mean, because the last person I'm not going to comment about you, but the last person happened to be the majority party in the um, in this town. I mean, Ed's affiliation. It, so. Unaffiliated are the largest party right now. Well, yeah, okay. But but they don't count in the minority. You can. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do. do. They most right. definitely I, do. Again, there are certain area times when they do not. And so I'm just saying he was, the, he was where you would typically go. You can have X number of uh, Republicans as the majority, and then you can fill the other spots with the unaffiliated or the Democrats. No, so he was in the majority of the party. But Blake, when I was on it, again, I don't know how it's changed, but when I was on it, was actually primarily Democrat. Yeah. It well, it's just majority, it's minority, I'll, I'll, I'll independent an party. On that. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out to, to just make sure, and then we'll, we'll I'll, I'll adjust the. Uh, We'll send a memo out on it, and uh, I'll I'll uh, your worthwhile no I, I just don't uh, want whether or not it no, has to be a question. Question. Michael. I'll know whether it has to be a Democrat or Republican or, 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 or independent or or unaffiliated right. or do have another one? Is there any? <laughs> yeah. No, there's several minor okay. parties. I don't know what everyone belongs. Okay, well, uh, but I'll get it. I'll make sure it's clear when I send it out. Yeah. Um, then. Uh, Krista would get up and give a briefing on where we are with the November ballot as far as openings in the RTM. Or do you want me to do that at the beginning, or do you want to do it? Like, well, you'll decide where you, if, if you, you want. You want it, uh, let it in. Yeah, we oh, can put placement. I'm just getting it. Okay. Saying, you know, yep. and we'll put that on. Where do things stand um, three days before Appropriation for the opioid uh, legal settlement. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, F and B, I think. Actually, it's. Um, I did want to talk about this so everybody understands exactly what this resolution <coughs> is saying. There was an, um, an amendment. The resolution has now been amended um, to be um, now therefore be it resolved that the representative town meeting hereby approves and authorizes the special appropriation in the amount of. $78,554.50 um, to fund various town of Darien program expenses. And the amendment is consistent with the purposes and the intent of the opioid legal settlement that was raised at the Board of Selectmen by uh, Rob Cadone. Um, we're putting it Board in the draft. What? Board of Finance? Yeah, he, he He's raised the Board of Selectmen. I just wanted sorry. to clarify. Yeah. yeah. Uh, board of Finance, he raised the issue. We put it in here. I've spoken to Wayne, um, approved this. I've spoken to Jen and Kate, and both of them are on board with this as well. So the other thing is the financials. When we do, this is going into a grant fund, and that's where it stands. So if it's not spent, the money stays in that fund for the next year. It's not eliminated. But by approving this, and even though initially it may have Board of Selectmen um, input onto it, in theory by approving this, once we approve the appropriation for $78,000, the health director can spend it without going to the Board of Finance, to the um, Board of Selectmen, or to the RTM. So just so that you understand, we're giving them this money, and that's why we're saying we want to make sure that it's within this context uh, for that. 
right. is 40000 that's already been spent on the teen talk for Middlesex. That will be a decreasing amount based upon what the Board of Selectmen has said, but it's a jump start to it. Um, but yes, now, we would know because the money would always be coming out of the grant um, fund so that what's ever being spent on could be tracked. But I think um, public health and safety is primary on this, and FEB just is going to explain the financial aspects of it. Okay, further discussion? Two questions for you. Jim. Yeah. One, this is called a grant fund? It, it, it's a grant, yes. Grant. We're, receive, we're going to receive, I think, can't remember if it's for the next 10 or 20 years. Um, yeah, it's some, it's some outrageous number that we get. So, um, but every year we'll be getting how much we get. 18 years. In, yeah, it's 18 years. Um, how much we get is not going to be the same from year to year. And it actually comes in a little bit, uh, I spoke to Jen earlier, comes in dribs and drabs. Does this come from the state of Connecticut or from the federal government? It comes from a legal settlement that the state was a party to, and we um, get some of the funds from it. So then go back to my question, check it out. Keen on, it was a fund, monies go in and don't come back out or get reappropriated if they're not used. And so, is that? We, we've appropriate, this would appropriate the 78,000 plus change, which means that the director of health, the health director, wouldn't need to go mm -hmm. to the board of selectmen, board of finance, and RTN each time they have a program. Right. Got it. So, but the monies come out of that fund, and what we're really doing is appropriating that. If it's not spent, it stays, it stays, it stays in that there. fund. It doesn't go into the general fund. Which we would do with most other expenses. That's what I'm trying to capture yeah, in a it, sentence, which it, is no, this, not easy. Yeah, that's why I'm saying the yep. accounting of this is really where we're involved um, right. to make sure um, of what's going on. The only amount that's been allocated is forty thousand. Right. So if I was trying to capture one salient point, that's the one I'm trying to capture. Yeah, that's the point I was trying to capture yeah. as well when I when they came up with this. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Other. Okay, so I'll take a motion to make public health and safety primary, F and B secondary. Okay, uh, Lois and Susan. Uh, and uh, any other discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor? Okay. Opposed? I see none. Abstentions? I see none. Motion passes. Next is. Uh, Approving the uh, town hall union contract. Um, any thoughts? Uh, I mean, it's an F and B. I would think primary. Yeah. And that's uh, it. Uh, then I could just say, well, I'll, I guess I could put a note for the other. If, if anybody else wants to get up and talk about it, because it's a town hall. I mean, practically every committee in the RTM is involved because it's a town hall contract. Um, but um, my thought is just making F and B primary. Yeah, I, I spoke to Amy letting her know that this was potentially to if she wanted to add that because I know she's put it together in guys' agenda. But when um, tomorrow it, we don't have all the details because we don't get the union contract till after the Board of Selectmen has voted on it. They have an executive session and we'll vote on it tonight. Um, but like Adele and I were talking, Adele has one person. Um, F and B. What? Yeah, yeah, that's it. One. Um, there are people at the police department that um, are part of this contract. There's also um, the um, health, and there's also um, social services. Um, F and B has town clerk, the tax assessor, and the tax collector on that. But most of this contract, um, forgetting what the increase on the salary is, really comes down to about three major areas otherwise. And that is um, capping 
we vacation at five weeks, which is now this is the last union contract to have that. Carryover. Not yeah, yeah, carryover. Carry over. Right. Um, and um, then um, there's, they're going from the defined contribution from 5% to 7%. And um, there's one other thing that just slipped my mind. But basically, um, those are the main things. So they're basically financial in nature, which a union contract would be. No other major shifts of what's going on. So I mean, F and B can go and give the broad overview, and it's up. Um, public health and safety probably has the most employees um, associated with this. But if you guys want to just, the question is, do you want to report on it, or do you just want to report and say that you voted not to reject? That's that's the option for the uh, well, that's up to committees. Me. Yeah, that's that's going to be the option for the committees. I, I beg, I beg they recall in the past committee reporting. I'm not saying it should or shouldn't be that way, but I think in the past, right? I, well, Kate, uh, Kate sent me an email saying, "Do you intend to assign it to every one of the yeah. committees?" Yeah. And my response was yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I would just take a motion to have F and B primary and other committees as they uh, want uh, can uh, a report out uh, so moved. second. So moved. I I'm going to change as they want to as appropriate. As are appropriate, you okay there you are. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I'll still so, move it. Okay. It's still, <laughs> it's pull that still back moving. Up. So a second, please. There we go. I'll let you have that one, Mark. Okay, thanks. Uh, Okay, ready to vote. All in favor? Okay. Opposed? I see none. Abstentions? I see none. Motion passes. Um, appropriation of bond authorization for repair of Gorham's Pond Dam. Uh, it's a it's public works? No. No? It's a bond. I go F and B first. You want to go F and B? F and B, then public works. And um, based upon a conversation with any PC and H rules, so why? Why is that? Um, it's not a lease. Well, why is PC and H? Yeah. Because Amy had some questions that um, were worthwhile to discuss. Oh, okay. And I didn't get the answers to it. Having having spoken to town council, <laughs> he's heard them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. what? Uh, can we just kind of back up a little bit yeah, because it's sure, coming yeah. way too much so P, P, Z, and H because they had questions? There are certain aspects of the dam um, and property ownership and that this is a main road and several other things um, that um, as, since any committee can report on something in a conversation with uh, Amy, Amy asked if she could put her committee in, and that's good enough to assign her. Okay. Just, thank you for that. Yeah, and we're meeting on Thursday. Yeah. Thank you. I spoke to her at town council. Okay, great. Just that way we have it on the record. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm sorry, secondary, just for the well, public, public works, public works, and PC and H, and F and B's primary. F and B's primary. primary. No, there's no safety piece in this because well, you know it's a I don't know road over a bridge or whatever, well, a the, police involvement. The 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 key from my perspective is that this project has to be done by October 2025 if we're going to get any money back from FEMA. We could get a full 3.4 million <coughs> back from FEMA. Problem is. FEMA doesn't act quickly. So we might not see that money for another three to four years after they've reviewed everything. But we'll initially pay for this out of our general fund, and then we'll fund it potentially, this is what Jen mentioned at the Board of Finance meeting. We may fund it initially using the bond anticipation notes, which are one-year notes, roll it for a couple of years, but then it will be rolled into, there's enough bond other stuff going on since we're building schools to roll it into one of those. Issue is, in four years, if we've already bonded the 3.4 million, 
when we now receive 3.4 million back from FEMA, what happens to that money? Because we usually can't go out into the market until five years to buy back and flip any of the bonds. The actual answer to that is, it can be reallocated to another project for which has been approved for bonding. But all those projects are projects that have already been approved by Board of Selectmen, Board of Finance, and the RTN. So if we get it later and we still have money outstanding, let's say on HHR, instead of issuing 3.4 million of HHR bonds, we would allocate that money to cover those costs. Okay, so um, it's just, it's F and B, public works, and DZ and H, yeah. right? F and B primary, so I'll take a motion. F and B primary, public so works, and DZ and H secondary. Uh, oh, Michael moves, Peter, I saw a hand. Second there. Okay, all, um, ready to vote. All in favor? Okay, opposed? I see none. Extensions? I see none. Motion passes. Um, three items, they have to be separate. I inquired if I could lump them. I was told no. So uh, this has to do with uh, giving an easement to the property for Eversource to go in. Um, I don't know, PC and H? I think so. And, and then that's it? Oh. It's associated Unless somebody, with put, like, somebody it's, wants to No, no, it's associated with the HHR building oh. right. committee. So one could ask education to report on it, but the question is, you know, the real issue is we want PZ and H to opine on the, what the easements are. I mean, yeah, it's really construction versus, I mean, I can yeah. see what yeah, you're saying. I, I, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, um, it's good to talk I'm, about I'm yeah. putting it out there. I don't have an opinion one way or another. The Rules yeah. Committee can make that decision. <laughs> but it would still be PZ and H primary, yeah. and then possibly education secondary, yeah. if the Rules Committee thinks that they should all work. Yeah. Of course, uh, education not being here, don't ever not show up. No. Um, so, do you want to just leave it DZ and H? Mm -hmm. no, no, okay, so I'll take a, a motion uh, to make DZ and H primary on these three items. This was from an amended rules yeah. agenda. Model. I found it. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll, I'll make the motion second. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Susan, second. Are we doing them all at once? Yeah. yeah. I thought you just no, made The items will be listed separately. Oh, the items will be listed separately. Put them on the, separate. Separate. Put them on the agenda. Have to vote yeah. on them separately. <laughs> no. we, they are. We, we have are rules. Just uh, uh, no, I'll second, no, second, no, I'll second the uh, motion for Susan. Okay, and uh, Susan seconds. No, Susan's primary. I second. Remove the motion. Susan Patty, primary. Second, second Patty. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Opposed? I see none. Extensions? I see none. So we've got these three items taken care of. Uh, Did we put? Education secondary? No, no we did not. No. Okay, so we'll uh, move to setting the agenda for September 23rd. Um, uh, I'll, on the, right after the call to order, I'll do a moment of silence to honor David Martin. Um, then the exception of the agenda, approving the minutes. Do you want to also do a thank you to Kate Bush? For her years of service here. Great. She won't be here, yeah. but yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. She'll have been gone. Yeah, that. but that's a good idea. Yeah. Seth, are you, are you, are you going to speak a little bit about Dave, though? Yes. Prior to this, because he. The fact that, yeah. okay. you know, that he served he many served different a things time. in the town in addition to the, the Board finance. of Select and the Board of yeah. Finance, yeah. and of course, about six years with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And Anne was on our rules committee for a long time. I think it. It'll be really meaningful. Thank you. No, I'll, I'll, when I get it done, I'll give you a buzz. No, oh, I just, I, you always do a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yes, it, I think getting Kate. Uh, sure. Yeah. It is important. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, 
then uh, overview of where the RTM stands, uh, unless you want to do it before you call it to order? Or? I, I, no, I, I think the meeting would be called to order first. Mm -hmm. I can then roll into where we are. Well, no, I'll, I want to I want to do the thank you first. Yeah, do the David and, yeah, and, and thank then, you. And then, and then we'll what? and then we'll do you. So I'll be up. You'll go up. I'll go up. Yeah. You don't need to go. No, you don't need to go. That's true. Can I sit in District 3 and just report it? Yeah. We can do it. This will be Jack's microphone. Sit down and relax. So we'll put the overview. So the announcement. After I do the moments. Yeah. And then the overview. And then acceptance of the agenda, and approval of the minutes. The technology is going to be obvious to everybody. What? Oh, the, with the technology, the technology committee wants to get up on. No, I don't want to get up. I want to do it. That's my cue. All right, I, I will make sure. Watching your draft. Today's draft. Can I ask a quick question as we go through this? Yes, Susan. Is Ed going to be there for the. Well, yeah, you're looking at the same thing I so am. So if we, I, I just feel strongly, if we have any town hall or school, anytime we have any of our employees there at a meeting, I feel like they need to be bumped to the, I, to I, the beginning. Well, that's why I put it where I, got, I, have the where same I thing did. I got a number. I mean, it no, says 11. five, but the stuff in front of it is pretty. No, but well, on no, the draft the, morning, it's 11. It's 11. And that should be the first thing on the agenda. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, yeah. That was yeah. my only. If, and I don't. I think he would be the only one. I don't know. It will be most probably. I, I forget. Is it Darren? His assistant. Probably yeah. Darren. Yeah. Yeah. Darren yeah. has been the one presenting yeah. to the board of finance and the yeah. board of selectmen. But yes, still a town employee. Yeah. And we should yeah. have them last. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do approve the town hall, uh, the town uh, the union contract next. No, I would no. do Darren first. Or the, the Gorham. The Gorham. The Gorham. Gorham. You want to do Gorham? Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I don't know that anybody's going to be there to explain the town union contract. I mean, Jay Z might be there anyway, and he can always answer any of those questions. Susan so. Barksdale will not be there? I'm sorry? Susan Barksdale, HR director? I don't think, I don't recall okay. that her being there for any of our union contracts. That, that, that would be next. Yeah, yeah so um, after the overview, uh, then comes the uh, Gorham Pond. Mm -hmm. And then we go to approving the town hall contract. Hi. Yeah, don't put me in the car. That wasn't for me. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, sir. I forgot one more. <laughs> uh, Linda O'Leary's husband passed. Uh, yeah. And so uh, maybe I should say uh, something there. Ed Wyshecka's wife passed. I don't yeah. know what I mean. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Just, I know. Uh, I think they're getting, it's getting too broad, my personal perspective. Yeah, we can do David because David was part of us. Yes, yes, that's uh, he was part of us before he went to the dark side on the board of selectmen. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And and oh, that might still be worthy of a more yes. statement. <laughs> <laughs> and Kate All right, so us. we're going to do Kate and and David. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, what's the appropriation for the bond? Then after the appropriation, uh, the union contract. Yeah. Then appoint a member of the RTA with Light Commission. And then the three electric distribution items. Yes. On the Light Commission, do people have to get up and speak? Or should they get up and speak? Um, well, it's, yeah, I could, I could ask them if they'd like to. If there's I mean, a, if we're if there's a and group. If we're yeah, yeah, yeah. multiple people. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple people that want to be on Blake. You're not allowed to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got suckered into it by Seth because there was no one else to do it. Hey, see, you did such a good job to other people who volunteered. Seth, does someone need to put their name Moderator on? has a dirty job. What? Yeah, they're going to be doing what's, it to Chris. What's the procedure? Like, just well, um, first of all, um, we would take all the nominations. 
and second them. Okay, so we don't want to. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm, I, I think I'm hearing a volunteer. No, no, no. No, I just want to know what the process is. Keep, 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 just keep talking, everybody. Yeah. You can find the nomination right yeah. away. I, I checked the ordinance, and it is subject to statutory regulations. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. what I, I would have yes. assumed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we never so discussed it in another meeting I'll, before. I'll, 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 I'll do the addition and no. tell them if it has to be an independent or. I'll, I'll Only because we had an issue, you know. Uh, no. Let's let's not repeat what happened with ethics. ethics. Right. Yeah, and the hold up conversation. So. Get okay, it. so you know, I under, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, so will it be here? speeches or so, no speeches? Or yes? So speeches, yes. People want to get up and talk. Fine, two minutes. Two minutes. And. Uh, unless there's only one nominee, you know. Unless else. there's one nominee. You have to ask for nominees from the floor too. Right. The, I'll ask everybody to send in their nominations to the town clerk, so we have some idea what we got in the beginning. And then uh, I will ask from the floor, get all the nominees seconded, and then we can take them up one at a time to speak. And then we'll go to a vote. Okay. And the vote is paper vote? It will have to be paper. Well, if we have multiple. Yeah. Yeah. If not, then. Yeah, obviously. Or is it going to follow the same voting procedure as the Board of Ethics? Yeah. So everyone's comfortable and clear on how that works? For those of you who don't I'm not really that's clear a on it, question. so I'm asking you guys. So, so maybe for consistency, even if it's just one person, we should have a written ballot. I mean, we're voting on a person. And we have this big discussion. Well, you could go by acclamation. It's allowed to go by acclamation if you've got one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Chris still has a puzzled look on her face. I just want to, so you'll take nominees from the floor so that people will write that name on the ballot. Actually, that's segue into my writing candidate comment. Um, so that we write in candidates from the floor or any, the deadline which you set for people to nominate themselves from the RTM in advance of the meeting. Right. And some deadline that you determine. Right. But are there going to be party requirements? I mean, it's a requirement, but is... I'll put, I'll put yes, it in the memo. There'll have to be some verbiage that <laughs> yeah. they'll have With to research can, if yeah. there is any requirements. Yeah. Based upon the party right. affiliation. Right. I just gotta look and see what the mix is How on there now. The right now there's yeah. right now well, it's, it's a total of one, two, three, four. There's five spots. There's four right. members. And um, I'm not sure everyone's party affiliation. Who are the four members my so that's the fun part. Then we get to go. So George Riley is the chairman, and he's from Planning and Zoning. Democrat. Mike, well, yeah. Yeah. Michael Lamote from um, eight, uh, Human Services. So it's not Sue Oakey from Commission on Aging. Democrat. Michael Burke from yeah. Board of Selectmen. You, you, I, you think he's, I think he stepped off because I think oh that gentleman. I think they were looking for someone also. Oh, yeah. Human for, Services. Yeah, Human Services okay. was looking uh, for a vacancy just, also. I, I, we can resolve something here. You already have two D's on that committee. Maybe more, too. Yes. Right. So I'm saying we have a minimum of two D's, so it can be anyone from any anyone party. Anyone from any party. Well, if we have three D's right now, since we don't know everybody's party affiliation, don't you if there are three D's of this mixture, then you cannot put another D on it. It has to be an R or a U. That's why you need to know that Seth, Seth, Seth will research it. I don't know if he I, stepped I, off. Yeah, you can't have four of any. It has to be three is the max on a five-member board. <laughs> no, I think you. I think if you have, I, I'm going back yeah, now. I, I'm I, having I'd like flashbacks, but I think if there's one minority on there in a five-member board, I'm sure it's four on a five-member board. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I remember talking. I think it's four. We're talking to Donna. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check with Wayne. I'm guessing on this. Yeah, I will. Folks, I'll see you the next time. I will get it straight with Wayne, and we'll. Thank you, Seth. We'll yeah. get yeah. what, nice. what, what is the let us all well know, so maybe we won't have this conversation again next year. <laughs> I, I no, forget. I'm going to keep it a big secret. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we could do this again. No, uh, certainly, certainly. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, and then uh, the last is appropriate the 78 for the opioid legal settlement. 
and that should do it. Yeah. Um, so, can I, I, I'll try and read through this. Um, do you want to hand that over to Mark and then we can just roll it off? I got it. Oh, okay. You got it. I'll, to one. You. I, I'll, I'll <laughs> read it. Mark, you read it. <laughs> we've got Because it's in writing. That's we've got the thing. memorial. We've yeah. got the thank you. We've got the RTM vacancy overview. We've got the, well, I got the acceptance of the agenda. I don't know where that belongs, but I've got that. The bond that's in the, that's in the, the top. right after the thank yous. Yeah, okay, so I got in the right place. Oh, before the overview of the RTM. Yeah. Okay. Then um, bond authorization for Gorham. Then Union Hall contract. Um, Blight Commission. And then the three electric distribution easement items. Limiting minutes, uh, speeches to two minutes, if any. Appropriation of the opioid. ARPA. Yeah, the ARPA update. No, do we? Do we, didn't, no, we, 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 didn't have, we haven't said that yet. You know, we? with everything else that we have, why don't we take that off the agenda? Because well, we cut out two yeah, items. Yeah, we can. But we well, also cut out two items on it. I mean, yeah, you, you're just going to, it's just an update, right? You don't want to do it, Jack. No, why don't we okay. move it to October? Because I'm, I'm thinking with the thank yous, with the memorials, with the other things on, we can move it to October if, you know. Okay. Seeing as that you've never seen it before, Put it in October. <laughs> um, we just wanted to think of this group of Further discussion. We did. vote. We, we, we did vote. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. All in favor? All right, we voted. Wait, 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 yeah, we didn't have the update, the ARPA update. Yeah, just oh, put it in after the RTM, Krista's RTM announcement. <laughs> well, my, then, respectfully, uh, we wanted to get to the items where we have staff. I'll do it after. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so do you're going to put the... Do it before Blight. <laughs> do it right before Done. Blight. Done. <laughs> <laughs> <Alaska. laughs> so All right, we got it. getting punchy. <laughs> Are we ready <laughs> to vote? Yes. Do we have it? Mr. Yes. Secretary, are you? We're good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 But yes, point taken. Mark. Going to the right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Moderator, we're good to vote. Okay, we we have a motion that we've had it seconded. All those in favor? Okay. Opposed? I see none. No abstentions. Motion carries. Um, well, the agenda has been set for September 23. Um, any other business? Hearing none, seeing none. Can I ask Adjourn. a question? Actually, yes. I, I just, I don't know, I must have been bored or something, so I was listening to the uh, HHR meeting, the last one, and I was just wondering if, the, if, if we would have an update at any time, did you think? what they've done, where, where they're pausing, what the schools look like now. I just a thought, but obviously not on this agenda. Good for okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm you. happy to happy to invite them. Yeah. I hate to make more work. October. I think it'd be no. it's, certainly. I was interested in listening. So. Well, I, I drive by the school and like, wait, the school's in session and there's all this construction going on. Like, how does that work? Yeah, but our kids went through that for uh, Oxbridge and then Royal, I think, <coughs> and then and that Middlesex, and that, I thought most of the kids, and my older kids, would be engineers. What's that? They're not. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> I don't want to have to anyway, be good. Other business? Is there a public comment at all here, or no? I've not spoken to you. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. I don't know. No, I, I mean, my comments are for the body. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Um, well, one thought I have: um, Great Island. Does any is when if you guys 
the 21st is the um, big event for the public. Um, if everyone there is a working okay. session. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. But you may want to put. I mean, you you may may last six, even though we just approved. Yeah. The so there's a working session. I can get you the details. Well, first of all, well, well that's going to go out. I'm going to send that out separately. I was so. going to ask, has it gone out to, to Not all yet. the chairs yet? It's going. Hasn't gone out yet. Okay. It will. So go there's out. a working uh, work group sessions being held on the 21st. There'll be two, two major sessions, one held at Town Hall, where there'll be presentations of various topics related to uh, um, Great Island. And then in the afternoon, uh, there'll be sessions, mostly the same sessions, plus some tours, guided tours uh, on the island. I think that's like from one to four in the morning session, maybe 10 to noon. Uh, buses are being provided. Um, many people have already signed up for the buses. There are still seats available on the buses. And um, there'll be details being handed well, out. All right. So if you get me a memo, I'll 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 read that. I have the memo from Monica, which will go out to the full RTM. If, with oh, that's okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't have to worry about it. This meeting is after that. It will be after that. Oh, all right. The memo will go out prior to the meeting. Maybe okay. I can put it in the packet if you guys all think are separate. Okay, yeah, separate. That's fine. And then, okay. But this will be after. Yep. So we'll make it clear that there's no need to register. Anyone can attend. You need to register if you want to get a slot on the bus. Okay. So is that 21st is what? Saturday. 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 And our meeting is Monday. So there'll be yeah. no right, but common still. meeting. Okay. Unless you guys want to yeah. come yeah. So are we putting in? Other what? No. 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 Okay. Then the other um, item I'd like to put out for consideration is regarding uh, the our town code and the concept of write-in candidates for the RTM. It is, I'm still waiting for Wayne to opine on this, but as I understand it, it's not addressed in our town code. Uh, historically, it has been always the day before the date of the election is a window of time in which people may submit their paperwork, which is just one signature, the write-in candidate. Uh, right now we have, I think, the RTM has 24 openings about. Yeah. Um, so, um, with uh, so the deadline for you'll hear this also on Monday, but I can give you a little bit of a preview that the deadline for petitions is tomorrow, five fifteen. There is some out. Um, after that is the write-in window. Uh, I would love for the Darien residents to have that window of time up until the day before election to be able to submit their piece of paper, at least to be a write-in. We've had very successful candidates come through to the RTM. Amy Zabatakis is one example. Uh, currently, the state statute was amended in July of 23, which changed that window of time to the day before the first day of early voting, which is a date that is not well known, in my opinion, in yeah. the general public. So I would love to see it be considered and added to the day before election day. And this obviously at this point would be for next year, but I think going forward it would and be more And that's how it's, it's always been. You're saying you just want it more clearly written out. I remember it was uh, always It's always before. been because it deferred to statute. Okay. Because the town charter did not address it, okay. so it defers to statute. Now the statute has addressed it and made it the day before the business day, I should say, before early voting begins. So can we so switch that? With confirmation from Wayne Fox, can we put it in our, i.e. Darian's town code appendix B, as we set forth the window for your re-upping, as we set up the window for the petition, this would be the third window would be set, I would recommend the day before election day. Right, so but we need to do that soon and then does that have to go? Well, for this, this would have to happen yeah. Yeah. Like in September, which I think probably is a short window of time, but the next applicable window would be the following event. So it's not going to happen. But so there's, it'll a, have to be there's an opportunity. I mean, the, 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 oh, wait, hold on. So, how do you finish your question? Wait, I'm just going to. So, to just my head, it's always been the day before for the yes. write in, right? So now, because something, right? Because it wasn't tied to the state statute or whatever, um, we can't. That's. Somewhere there was a change, is what you're saying, and we can't then reapply to make it just the day before until next September. 
Okay, let me, Are we uh, stuck with doing it the, the day before the first day the, the, of writing down can, can versus it, what we've always okay. kind of had? All right, so it. as it stands right now, as it stands right now, because the as I understand, again, Wayne is opining, the Darien Town Code Charter does not address this topic. It does a lot of things, a lot of windows. This particular window is not addressed, so we default to state statute. State statute says the day before early voting starts. So that's the window we would use. For this, for this election, yes, election and every yes, election going forward. So we don't have to address it in a formal way to get it <coughs> formal if, until next time. Right, yeah. if okay. that's what you guys want to keep, if you think the day before election day is a better window for Darianne, then you would have to act. The, the question okay, is, Jack, yeah, if, if we're that's solving doing. a problem I'm not, we're not doing anything right now. for well, this year, stick to it. and whether or not this is, I mean, because it's highly unusual to have 24 vacancies at this stage of the game for the 20 years I've been in the RTM. So the question is, you know, in the past it worked because that was the statute. As soon as the state applied and made the new statute because of early voting, the question is, do we really need to address it forever by making it still the day before election, or can we keep state statute and anyone who walks in, especially since we have so many vacancies, you know, you just hand them over to the district chair because until we have the organization meeting, the district chairs are still really the district chair until they're replaced, as, as the committees are still empowered committees, and you just hand them over and they get caucused in, which is a heck of a I know, but, we, but, but then oh. we, the thing is, we have the RTM rules meeting where we then assign. So I know for our district, District 1, we really like to have yeah. a full agenda. It makes your life, everybody's life easier because you have to send everything out. So. You could have. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yours, you can have caucuses in November you, before we have our organization. <laughs> it, it's very simple. The caucuses do not have to have. They don't have to follow FOIA rules. You can have a group get together. Yeah, but then when they caucus in, they're only for one year. If what if they're on the ballot, then they're for two That's years. There but is... then, no, they still would be one year if they're a write-in. No, that's not correct, I no. don't believe. Isn't it? A write-in? No, I a write-in so. write write is two years. Three. 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 It's fully elected. Yeah. Okay. It's fully elected. That person is elected on the ballot. As you're talking about this idea, this is a separate topic now. So the first issue is, does this body and the RTM, would you like to extend the window for art, for write-in candidates for our RTM, i.e. Darian, to the day before Election Day, or do you want to, to follow statute and do nothing, which is the day before early voting? I would That's like your to, question. So can we... Can we make that decision for this election? I think that would be very that's ambitious, but that is up to this body. Just voted on the agenda. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. Right now, are there any contested districts? At this, uh, uh, we, might, we might see it eventually. I've got a couple people looking. Effective in 24. So I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that answer. Uh, there are petitions out there, and then people are considering a write-in. But for the public, for you, I know Patty, you're a great you know proponent of getting people on board. The deadline is now uh, the 18th of October. Just the 18th of October. Correct, yeah. because that's early voting. Right. I would argue that that's a date people are not focused on. Right. We should stick with election day. But correct. But that's for the future. We can't do correct. That this year. Correct. Right. Yeah. Just as an aside, because there will be so. I mean, following up on your comment about people serving, I've spoken to Wayne to clarify, as it states in the Appendix B. If you are, say, caught, you know, you caucus in between now and November, you stay in that seat past your term because the charter says you serve until your replacement. Yep. So, yep. yes, you serve until your replacement. So you will continue to go to meetings and committee meetings until your district caucuses and votes you in again. Uh, unless, that you that sense. Sense. unless you resign. Well, of course, you resign, you resign. Well, you know, some people might say, wait, I can't do that because I'm going to be in Los Angeles, you know, I'm moving. But so. November is not a deadline if there's still open seats. Yeah. Anyway, so it, um, it would be virtually... No, I will, I will bring this for your consideration 
for I put it on the agenda so that we can deal with it uh, and so that you have some time to think about it. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand why it's virtually impossible. Be is it is it just us having to do it, or are we having to deal with the state? No, just if it's you. just us, I don't just know why you. we don't do it and just get you. it done. Just us, meaning the RTN? No, I mean just town just or town. us. But the RTN would have to vote on it, oh, yeah. and the RTN meets in two weeks, and we have nothing on the table right now. It's got to be a yeah. form of ordinance, correct? It's ordinance. No, it's not an ordinance. It's an, it's an adjustment. It's an amendment to Appendix B. Okay. Yeah, but we, have, we haven't done Appendix B yet. So, so we just be doing that. Patty's saying just do this one. Yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Section. I mean, there's nothing yeah. stopping it. But but this is but we'd have to vote on this. Your two point. weeks. So yeah. that's well, we do have a meeting in two weeks. We do, which is prior to the October 18th deadline. That's I mean, I, we've got 24 openings. We want to allow. We I want to uh, personally. I know that makes anybody's life easier. Let's get as many bodies filled as possible. Because even if you say October 18th, for that's the full term kind of too. Pardon me? For and then the you go full, full term. term, you're on the ballot. Um, I mean, I'll volunteer to help do any physical work that you have to do. This is, I don't think it's... There's, yeah, this is the decision of the RTM. Okay. And your body, uh, whomever is assigned to it. Okay. Uh, there's a slight mess, but they're not on the ballot. They're just right the qualifying for writing. Because by the time no, I, I voting, completely but, understand. I, I, no, I, I was a write-in. It was a slip of words. Um, but what I am saying is... It, you know, in all these years since I've been on, you've always been able to be a write-in up until the last day. As Jack said, as long as we've been on, there's never been 24 openings. This is an opportunity for us to start to talk to as many people as possible and try and fill these but, spots. But let's, so let's there's just, zero downside. Let's just come deal with women. Wayne, who <laughs> supported of us going against the state statute. Yeah. And it's a state charge to do blah, blah, blah. And, and, and or is it the guidance that we might get away from? I'll get it. Okay, Jack. I, I, I want to point something out. In the past, we were able to do this up until the day before election because that was the time, of, other than doing an absentee ballot, that was the time you voted. But now, since we're voting for, you have the right to start voting 14 days before, that's why the state statute was changed. So it's not the same situation. Well, you can always right. vote 31 days before. No, 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 no. Krista, the Krista, it's Krista, not the please. same legal situation. It was changed because voting is starting 14 days I understand that. before. This so to say that we've always done it this way, it was because you didn't have the right to right. do early voting. Right, so That's so, the you, only point I'm trying to make. So what, 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 wait, wait, Peter. Yeah. What, so what I'm hearing is that I understand everything you're saying. I like the, the general policy. But on the other hand, you're having different groups of people being authorized to be voted for That's right. at different times in the process. That doesn't that does not work. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. 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 If you've already had early voting and somebody registers the day before the election, yeah, 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 Early absentee voting. is different than early. It, it, well, but if you have a right, you can still write in on an absentee ballot. So I'm just saying, like you're, I understand, I'm just pointing out that your logic is a little flawed only because um, it's not the 18 days. I don't really care one way or the other. That's one thing. And, and the other thing about Wayne is I, I understand it may be, may be a misunderstood. Because we don't have, because we don't have it in Appendix B, mm -hmm. that's why we are now following the state. Correct. It's not Wayne's recommendation that he doesn't think we should have it in Appendix B. We never had it. My in conversation Appendix with Wayne has never been his opinion as to whether or not is this body ch legally charged with the ability. In my opinion, yes, because you have this petition window, which is not the same as the state's window, for example. That's one example where town charters create their own okay. bylaws um, in the RTM, which you do. You have a petition yeah. window, 12 to eight weeks before the election. That's, you know, nobody else in the state does that. This would be another example where you would say, 
Okay. But it's never been in Appendix B that says that you have up until the day of election to come in as a writing. I, I just well, where I, has that been? Where has you know, that it been? hasn't been written in there, but that's how know. we've been able but to get people to do it and get on. That's it. Because, and then, all right. because the state never said anything about it, so we could do whatever we yeah. want. Right. So the state yeah. did. They changed their mind. The right. 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 Yeah. right. What I will do. Give you some time to think about it. Get something in writing to you about what the options are, and then get it on the agenda, and then you can proceed to vote on what you want to do with it. Okay? Because that's going to be much better than ad hocing it tonight. Do you, Chris? Other business. Any other business? Do you have the numbers right now? Okay. I will take a motion to adjourn. So second. Second. All in favor. Hi. 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 H